So we have the set S, which is the numbers 1 through 20. We have A and B, and we need to draw a Venn diagram because it's important to know what's in common to A and B and what's also not in A and B. So there's going to be two sets. I'm going to draw a pretty large intersection because there's going to be a lot of elements in both A and B. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to circle the numbers in common. There's fours, fives, I hope I don't miss any, nines, elevens, twelves, thirteens, fifteens, seventeens. All right, these are the numbers that are in both A and B. I'm just going to check four, five, eight, nine, nine, eleven, twelve. All right, so I'm going to write these in order in between. 4, 5, 9, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 17. Okay. What's not circled, that's still on the screen, everything else I just circled is in B. So I'm just going to write those 3, 6, 7, 3, 6, 7, 16, 18. What's left in A? 8, 10, 19. All right, so we have what's in A and B. Now there's the universal set, which is what these both live inside of. And the universal set was everything 1 through 20 right here. Technically, they're labeling it as S. That's fine. So 1 through 20. So I'm going to count up every number I don't see written down, I'm going to put inside S. So there's no 1, there's not a 2, there is a 3 right there, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no, no, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I see no 14. 15 is here, 16, 17, 18, 19, and there is no 20, but 20 is included, so we need a 20. Okay, so we now need to find some complements. It might be easier to write B complement next to the B set, um, or it might be easier to write it down here where I can just see this is what's in B, and I want to describe everything else. Now, putting them in order is going to be more annoying, so I'm just going to write what I see that's not in B. I'm going to do my best to put it in order. I see on the left a 1 and a 2, and a 14, and a 20, an 8, 10, 19. All right, so that's B complement, everything not Make sure you put the C B to the C power. That means B complement. Everything not in B. Okay, we're getting there. Now I want to intersect that with A. So B complement intersect with A. I'm just going to write down what's in A again, and I'm just going to copy what's in here. Four, five, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. Four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. And I want to intersect these two. B complement intersect A. So it's what's in common with the two sets you can see in blue. So I'm going to do what I did before, just circling. There's not very much in common. I see 10s. I see 19s. And that might be it. 14, nope. All right. So I think that's all we got. What about 8? All right. So there we go. 8, 10, 19. All right. So... I drew the Venn diagram, but I didn't really use it here. I re rewrote the set. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> circle 
where B complement intersect A is in the diagram. So it's outside of here, but inside of A. So it's actually these three numbers right here. That is B complement intersect A. So I'm not going to do the other intersection, but you would do A complement first and then intersect it with B, which is very similar to what we just did.